I'm Chelsea and this is Hole in the Wall. This space is called The Sanctuary and it was built in 1874 and the current owners are the fourth family to live here. The space is broken up into two parts. So there's the church, which we are going to be looking at today. And then there's also the Sunday school, which is attached to the back of the church. The Sunday school has been a living space for the last 35 years. However, the sanctuary was just converted into a living space when the current owner purchased it back in 2017. This bed is literally on the altar of a church. And these are the owner's words, not mine, but she said that most of the people that come here are sweet, sweet couples looking to get freaky in a church. <laughs> but in all seriousness, whether you're using this bed for sleeping, praying, or whatever else, it's super, super comfy. The owner said she bought it from West Elm and she actually originally bought it to be her own bed. But then once she realized how beautiful of a piece it was, that for it to be fully loved and appreciated, it should be in this space. If you look around this space, you will see that it's filled with just so many adorable details. For example, the Kleenex boxes are little houses and the tissue actually comes out of the little chimney. There's one over there by the couch and then there's also one in the bathroom. There is the gas fireplace, which really any time of the year just sets like a super cozy, nice romantic mood in here. So tucked in here is actually a Murphy bed. This space is very flexible for how many guests it would have. Typically it's couples that are staying here, but if you did want to sleep more than just two people, you've also got this bed as an option. So yeah, privacy is limited since you're just in one big room, but depending on how you guys know each other, it might be totally fine to have some people sleeping here and then also some people in the bed over there. So oh, I hope you guys don't mind that I just make myself comfortable while we continue chatting. <laughs> this space was literally designed to just be like a zen relaxation. Her whole idea was that it was for urbanites from Toronto to be able to come here for a couple of nights to really have a break from the hustle and bustle of the city. She says it's so funny because here in Prince Edward County, there's so much to do. There's the vineyards and delicious restaurants and the lake, but she says so many of the guests that come here never end up leaving because she's created such a comfy little oasis that even with all those amazing things, they choose to stay here. So a couple of the relaxation things that I'd like to highlight are obviously this hammock that I'm currently enjoying. And also over here, there's like a little yoga and stretching corner. There's like a foam roller and mats and everything that you could need to just relax your muscles and relax your mind. And the owner actually told me that before she bought this space, the church was actually being used as a yoga studio, so you would not be the first person to do yoga in here. You'll also find throughout this space that there's tons of little like self-care books, books of poems, just like all kinds of things to make you feel good and relax. And this space just really cultivates a mood of chill and relaxation. Then you've also got the bathtub over there and right up there with a hammock. Probably the only other thing that could be more relaxing is a cozy bubble bath. How many people can say that they've taken a bath in the middle of a church? It's kind of, wait, is that being baptized? Can a lot of people say that? Either way, who can say they've had a, a bath like this in a church? 
The owner added in this bathtub during the renovation in 2016. The bathtub was added as well as these archways. They really have thought of everything. Beside here, there's also some bath salts and essential oils to have the most relaxing bath of your entire life. <coughs> Something else that you'll notice throughout this space is the extreme attention to detail with the fixtures and finishes. Everything is gold and you'll notice it all throughout this bathtub, in the bathroom. So now we're just in the little kitchenette. It's uh, very basic. It's just got a small fridge and a hot plate and a sink. So you could make up a small meal here, but the idea isn't to be cooking a feast while you stay here. It's to be chilling out and relaxing. I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Oh my gosh. If these don't perfectly describe the way you feel when you're here, <laughs> I don't know what would. <laughs> and one of my personal favorite things also is all the live plants. There's some very on-trend guys in here. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in an Airbnb. Those baskets there are filled with mats and cushions and rollers, a whole bunch of equipment that you could use to get in a really nice stretch or yoga or even a little bit of a workout. I wish I wasn't wearing jeans right now because I usually do something silly in these videos like going upside down or <laughs> something dumb, but uh, actually, I actually never want to leave here. I am so happy. However, we're all finished. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Can you hear my stomach? <laughs> oh no. <laughs>